on Trojans Live. Jordan Moore, John Jackson, and this segment of Trojans Live is brought to you by Allstate. The Trojans are in good hands with the J.N.A. Harris, <laughs> USC's redshirt sophomore corner, man of many positions, has really settled in, had a fantastic season uh, in that slot corner position. Uh, Jenna, how was your bye week, man? You know, there's a lot of talk about you know, this rejuvenating your body. Do you feel it? Do you feel like that week off is, has given you some fresher legs? Man, I feel I feel real good. I actually got a massage yesterday, and uh, my body feel real good right now. Um, I got to sit down and actually study more film uh, on Washington and Washington State and Stanford just before we knew who we was going to face. And um, now it's just adding up. I'm getting more into Stanford, and um, I feel prepared. You know, talk about you guys as players and the commitment that it goes because a lot of it is done off the field in terms of watching film and all that and, and massages to take care of your body. Um, what percentage of the time do you have to spend on that type of stuff versus just, you know, practice, which is, of course, just a couple hours a day, right? I mean, when I'm off the field, I'm, I'm thinking of other ways to get better. You know, I'm watching film, um, ice bathing, stretching, rolling out, different things on my free time um, when I'm not playing a game or just chilling around the house, you know. So um, I feel like all, everybody is committed to that uh, process because we all we all have one goal is to win a championship. And when you taking when you taking days off and stuff like that, you're not committed to your goal. It seems like you've just gotten better game by game, at Jenna. How much more comfortable do you feel at the corner spot now than you did, you know, a year ago? Um, a year ago was more so just getting my feet right and just getting my uh, technique up and. Um, learning the scheme of what Clancy has going on. But now I feel real good in the scheme. Um, my technique is getting better and better every day. And I'm just feeling more. Um, Does that allow your instincts to take over then? When, when, once you've got sort of that stuff out of the way, then can you just be a football player? I mean, yeah, yeah. When I, when I, when I, after I study film and all that, I know tendencies and all that, um, it's all about just aligning right and just trusting my instincts. You know, throughout your career, you know, back in high school, you were playing quarterback. And then, of course, here you, you came as, and played a lot of receiver. And now you're on the defensive yeah. side. How much did the offensive experience help you now on the defensive side? Because, like I said, it, it, in high school, you were playing quarterback. That's a completely different view of the game. And then receiver, of course, that experience helps as well. How much do you know now almost what guys are going to do before it happens? I mean, I know, I know a lot. I just um – when I study film, I look at the formations and the, uh, the alignment of the receivers, and I kind of know as a quarterback the progressions of uh, what they're taught by the coaches. And um, so I try to identify what, what the quarterback progressions is throughout when I'm watching film. And then pre-snap read on the alignments and all that, I kind of got an idea of what they're trying to do and um, where my leverage is and where my help is is going to dictate where I'm going to align. Do you ever go up to Clay or T and say, look, I can run the zone read. <laughs> I can run the I'll zone a, read. I'll be a coach T here all the time. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. We got to see that before you leave. That's the, the problem is there's too many former quarterbacks on That's this right. team. You know, you got Jalen Green's got yeah. that on lock. Deontay can throw it. All you guys can throw it. So this, the line for trick plays is long on yeah, this team. Uh, Jenny, let me embarrass you for a second because <laughs> I'll just tell you, I mean, when you know, when we post things about you, when, 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 when superlatives are out there about you, I just see an outpouring of emotion from your teammates, from your coaches, from former players. You, as much as anyone, just have a, a ton of respect. What's it like for you? How does that make you feel You know, when you see all these guys that just seem to really be supporting you in that locker room? Um, it's, it's just love, you know. You know, I just be me all the time. You know, I be um, real with everybody around me. And um, I feel like they can sense that vibe um, from me and, they just mess with it. You know, they, they respect it and they love it. And I love all everybody that's around me and supporting me. You know, I noticed, uh, you know, especially in summer camp and probably even now that you and Deontay, you know, go against each other to show each other the best look. I mean, obviously mm. he's, you know, phenomenal at receiver. And, of course, you want to go against the best in the slot. How much has that competition helped you in terms of your development going against somebody at Deontay's caliber? I feel like Deontay, one of the top receivers in the country, you know, so when I line up against – other guys, you know, on Saturdays, I feel just that more confident about my game, you know, because I feel like I'm going against Deontay five, <laughs> five times a week, you know, and on Saturdays, it's just it's another person. <laughs> just <laughs> I feel just like Deontay is way better than all the receivers <laughs> that we go against, so it's a good look every day. You know, I was reading an article about you, your local guy, 
and it, it said, you know, when you were a kid, you would come, you would come to the USC track. Yeah. You would come just to sort of take a look at, at what you wanted. I mean, is, is that really what it was, just envisioning your future? It was a little bit of that, and um, I was just in grind mode. Uh, I had friends, you know, that live around the corner from me and people that went to my high school. We all set up a group chat or get on social media and post a, uh, post a post. Like, come meet up at USC, 2 o'clock, you know. Um, anybody's welcome. And we'll get up here and just play around for hours until we was tired. And what? it just was motivation to me just seeing – like, I'll just be around here, and I'll see Marquise Lee probably leaving <laughs> out the McKay, going to meetings or something, and it's just like, whoa, like, that's really Marquise. So <laughs> it just was motivation at the time, and uh, it propelled me to just get here and do whatever it takes to get here. What's it like now living that dream? You're that guy. You're the guy that the <laughs> – you leave the practice facility. This whole place is, Man, is your place. You're the guy that's, that's starring at the Coliseum on it, Saturdays. It, it feel real good, but um, it's a blessing, man, to be honest with you. It's a blessing. From a leadership standpoint, I mean, it, you know, I know that your guys' group, they're not all young, but there's no, there's no, right, there any seniors? No seniors, right, in the secondary? Se Seahawks. Seahawks. Oh, Seahawks, the only thing, yeah. So you got one senior in the secondary. But from a leadership role, because people, as Jordan mentioned, gravitate towards your personality, how much has your leadership role changed this year as the season's gone on and as you've been playing a lot better? Um, Just, just more vocal throughout the season. Um, Kind of started off kind of slow, just – trying to get a feel for myself and just my rhythm of my game. And then um, I can just sense everybody, you know, they look for they look, they look, look for me for motivation and, and uh, just words and inspiration. So, you know, I, I do what I can do and, and control what I control and lead, lead whoever needs to be lead, lead it. All right, well, a chance to lead this team to a Pac-12 championship on Friday. Good luck, Jen A. We Man, love watching you, you and uh, still more years yeah. to come here. For a Gen A, zone Harris, read. Just getting, we need <laughs> zone read. getting better and better. <laughs> all right, forget two points for safety trapper to twenty percent with the Allstate Distinguished Driver Discount. Safe drivers can instantly save up to twenty percent on car insurance just for having a clean driving record. And that's on top of other discounts. Call one of four hundred and ten Los Angeles area Allstate agents today. Hey, we're continuing our spirit series. We had the Trojan Knights and the Victory Bell. We had the Song Girls. The drum major is next inside a little USC spirit. Coming up next on Trojans Live. <laughs> 